Right, we're going in the car. I've covered the seat up so I don't get oil on it. And that's where we're going. Down there. I'm going to get that off there. That's a 13 mil nut and bolt. So the steering was locked in that position. Now that was tight, so I've used my long extension to break it. But now I'm going to have to get um, two 13 mil spanners and get that off. So I'll do that, I'll put this phone down and I'll um, come back when I've uh, undone it. Right, that's out of there. Now, that steering cart will come off, it'll lift off there. That was, that was tight, but it will come off with uh, a bit of help. That, that did come off, but that's that's tight on there. But the uh, geometry of uh, there's another UJ up there, so the geometry of that shaft, uh, luckily, allows that to, allows that to come off there. So I don't quite know what those do. I don't. I think it's just a cover. I don't think it bolts through to the steering rack. But I'll get back under the car. And we'll have a look. I'm back up on top. I've removed the radiator header tank. And that shows the pump. We can have a look at the power steering pump. So there's the high pressure hose. So I'm going to release that. I've got a bucket underneath. I'm going to release that at uh, 19 mil. And we'll get that high pressure hose off now. There's the... Um, Reservoir, so there's not much left in there to drain. Most of it's gone out of the uh, rack, the bucket under the rack. But I've got a bucket underneath in case there's any more drains out of there. So let's get that off now. Right, 19 mil. That, that's tight, so I'll use another spanner just, just to break it. That's fine, that's off. That's And we'll save the copper washers, we'll make sure we don't lose them. There's one. And there's the other. So we'll keep them we'll keep those together. Smashing. This is the frame that holds the rack on the car. That goes in that way. There's a rubber um, uh, washer here. These are the bolts that hold it in place. This is the passenger side. So that's they're the bolts that hold that in place. So then they're, they're, they're not. We'll take the top pipe off the steering rack, and they're they're light, long, and quite um, uh, easy to reach. That's a 16 mil bolt. So that's those two for that side with a heavy washer. This is on the uh, driver's side. The top one is really difficult to access. Uh, if you remove those two rubber pipes that we have removed, it's, it's a bit difficult, but again, it's 16 mil. So don't try it with anything else. I know 16 mil is unusual, that's 16 mil. So you get those two off, take this frame off, the rack is undone inside the car, so the rack's now clear to remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drop the engine down a bit so we can actually get the rack out. So let's have a go. My plan to drop the gearbox was going fine. That one came out. That one came off. But that one won't. I cannot shift it. Now I've got good sockets. I've got Tang sockets. I've got a scaffolding bar, but it still wouldn't shift. In fact, the socket turned on the end, so I can't get that off, so we'll leave that. So what I've done is I've removed this here, the front suspension mounting, and the gearbox and engine mounting. So I'm going to take that off there. I've removed them. I've written on it which is which. This is a top and bottom, so I've marked it up so if I forget. 
so we can take that off, um, or take the fat man scoop off so it doesn't catch. And one more thing I've got to do, I've got to take the support around the prop shaft after lower that because that will stop the engine uh, dropping. So let's get on and do that. I've checked upstairs to see if there are any wires uh, hooked around anything and it doesn't seem so, so I'm going to lower the engine. Let's see how far it will go down. Right, it's creaking a bit there, something's catching, so that's dropped a few inches, so let's see if that's some, let's see if that's enough to get the rack out. Right, that's out. So, easy peasy. out. Now that was pretty awful and um, um, what we ended up doing, airbox out, um, intercooler bottom pipe out, dipstick out, gearbox dipstick out, squirrel pot out, um, gearbox mountings off so we could lower the engine. Oh, bloody hell, that's broken. Brittle old pipe. I tell you what, in all seriousness, unless you're a masochist, I'd say take the, take the engine out. That was a real gruber. It would be easier to take the engine out, maybe.